Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this four court film for this absolutely beautiful 2018 BMW 330D. This is the M Sport Touring model, features a, uh, a number of uh, uh, factory upgrades, um, is in absolutely beautiful condition. We'll sort of walk you around the car, point out any uh, tiny, tiny blemishes to you, um, and uh, just to give you a really good idea of the, the overall condition and talk you through some of the features that this particular car has. Um, the car is finished in mineral grey, one of our favourite colours for this uh, generation of, uh, of 3 Series. Um, like I said, it's the Touring model. It's featured with um, the upgraded 19-inch uh, M Sport alloy wheels. They've all been diamond cut and everything like that. Look really, really lovely. Um, we've also got the privacy glass on the side as well as the high gloss shadow line trims all around the side. So there's no sort of chrome accents um, all the way down the side here. Um, and uh, the privacy glass continues round to the, uh, to the rear window as well. Condition-wise, back bumper completely free of any marks or, or um, loading scratches or anything like that. It's all in really nice condition. I've got a few raindrops coming, so it uh, might ruin the video <laughs> in a second, but we'll try and move around it as quickly as possible. Um, but hopefully you can get to see um, the deep shine uh, on the paint all the way through. Um, coming all the way down the passenger side, very, very nice indeed. Tiny, tiny little sort of um, uh, just age-related uh, light scratches. That may even improve with a, with a machine polish, actually. We'll have a look at that for you. Um, but certainly... Um, overall extremely nice all of the mirror housing and everything like that completely undamaged and all in lovely condition uh, front bumper completely free of any stone chips or markings um, and the bonnet is getting a bit difficult because there's a few raindrops um, landing on it now but um, but again no excessive stone chipping uh, at all that I can see um, again in very very nice condition uh, it's got the LED headlights at the front you can see the front parking sensors there and then the chrome grille across the front but a really striking fantastic looking car um, alloy wheels they are in extremely good condition i think this uh, front driver side one here has um, a tiny tiny little bit of um, just a one spot of lacquer on there um, and in the middle it's quite common on these um, and a very very small bit of um, curb damage at the very very top um, but again you have to go in quite close to um, to spot any of that um, the rear wheel here is in completely perfect condition, not a mark on it. And the passenger rear wheel, again, absolutely perfect, no marks on there. And a perfect front wheel as well, so really, really nice condition. Like I said, just that um, driver's front wheel with a, a small bit of um, curb damage on it is pretty much it. Under the bonnet is the absolutely fab fabulous uh, three litre turbo diesel engine. Um, really huge fan of these. Um, for me, the pick of the bunch is actually the 330. Uh, I prefer it to the to the uh, to the 335 models, mainly because I'm, I'm more of a fan of the um, the rear wheel drive uh, way that these these cars drive. They actually do sit a little bit lower as well. So from a visual point of view, um, again, I much prefer the. Um, the, uh, the overall look of the 330s uh, and also the, the, the way that they drive as well. It's actually the same same engine as the 335, uh, just with uh, different tuning um, for the turbo and things like that. But yeah, huge, huge fans of these cars, um, as, uh, as anybody that keeps an eye on our website or our YouTube channel will know. Um, on the back, we've got an electric tailgate. Uh, we also have the, um, the centre um, rear window here opens as well uh, separately, which is very, very nice. The boot area is beautifully kept, really lovely all the way through. No uh, scratch marks or anything like that to any of the trims down here. Um, we've got a 40-40-20 split across the back uh, of the seats, so you can fold all those down, gives you loads of space. You can remove the parcel shelf and actually it um, will, uh, will clip into the holder down here as well, so when you're not using it. And then we've also got a parcel, uh, parcel guard or dog guard that, um, that fits in the back there as well. You've also got huge amounts of additional storage underneath. And then on the side here, things like your uh, first aid kit and everything like that, and additional storage in the side. This car's been upgraded with a storage package. Uh, so we have 12 volt socket, um, these hooks here for hanging bags and things like that. Also, um, additional storage there. You can put like bottles and stuff like that, um, and all the storage nets, as well as the load area fixing kit, uh, which is featured in here. Um, I'm not a massive fan. I don't really ever use one, um, but uh, but they basically um, fit into the these points on the back here, um, and you can segregate off parts of the boot as well to stop uh, stop things moving around. And then obviously you've got your toolkit 
down here with your locking wheel nut screwdrivers and towing eye and everything like that as well. Um, so close the electric tailgate like this. Through to the back, extremely good condition again. Backs of the seats are all in lovely condition. You've got, because it's got the storage package, you've got the additional nets here as well, but it's all been really well cared for. Pull down centre section here with cup holders. Um, and then we can also independently pull down that centre section there for skis and longer items and things like that as well. You've obviously got Isofix preparation in here for child seats, but a really lovely cabin, all the headlining and everything like that, all in absolutely perfect condition. You've got the additional speakers and everything like that in the, uh, in the roof there. Through to the driver's side, we've got uh, upgraded power folding door mirrors. Uh, that can be done on the key as well. Uh, and this car's also been upgraded with the Harman Kardon Logic 7 sound system as well. Uh, sports seats in the front with adjustable side bolsters. Uh, the, so the bolsters themselves, the driver's side, all in very, very good condition. Certainly nothing to mention there. Uh, beautiful, chunky, three-spoke M Sport steering wheel with paddle shift and all of your cruise control functions and functions for your media and everything like that as well. Again, in really lovely condition. It hasn't all gone nasty and shiny or anything like that. Automatic headlights, uh, automatic windscreen wipers. Again, because of the storage package, you get the additional storage cubby hole there. And then jumping in, this car's got the professional media package advanced on it, uh, which I'll talk you through how all of that works in a second. Um, but what that does also mean is that you have the black panel display, uh, which is essentially a screen that runs all the way along the bottom of the dashboard here. Um, you can get things like satellite navigation instructions as well as all your onboard computer and everything like that as well. Um, just cycling through all the bits and pieces there, give you distanced remaining of, of fuel. Um, your total mileage, which we'll see is uh, 43,190. Um, you can also see the average fuel economy that the car's been getting as well, which is extremely impressive for a uh, for a three litre diesel engine. And that's obviously just been been used locally. That's um, that's not actually going out on a major run. So um, very very impressive indeed. Um, so yeah, the advanced uh, media package. You would uh, whenever you have the the professional media, you get the the larger screen here, um, which is always the one that we we much uh, prefer, and also the larger. Uh, iDrive controller that you'll, you'll see in here as well, so that's normally the easiest way to spot. Um, but the advanced one um, also gives you a touchscreen as well, so you can move through here um, and, uh, and make selections on there. Personally, not a massive fan because you end up with fingerprints on the screen and things like that, so you can just use the control wheel. This also does things like handwriting recognition as well, so you can um, search through your phone book for, for entries or you can put in full postcodes and things like that just by writing on there. Um, but uh, this is the, the sort of the, the later style of, um, of iDrive, uh, a media package that we could get on, on, uh, on the F30 series of cars. Um, so you obviously have your satellite navigation, which uh, covers you for the whole of Western Europe. Um, lovely and easy to use, really good sort of uh, information up, up here on the screen. Um, and you can zoom in and out and all that kind of stuff as well. So um, very, very nice, um, very nice system. Uh, th in terms of uh, media connectivity and things like that, if we come through to here, we've got um, access to um, the music collection, which is an onboard storage hard drive, so you can actually download music into the car. You've got DAB digital radio as well as FM and AM stations. Uh, we've also got Bluetooth audio streaming on here as well, so you can, um, you can access uh, things on your phone. Uh, then you can sort of stream things like Spotify, podcasts, YouTube, all that, all that kind of stuff as well. So um, absolutely everything is, um, is connected through there. Um, where else are we? Um, if we come through to my vehicle. We've basically got like a full control panel for the car. Uh, so you can come through and, and make changes to the vehicle settings and everything like that, how everything works, the different driving modes that you've got. Um, technology in action, you've got things like the sport displays, um, so you can have those um, up there, and also efficient dynamics as well, just sort of help with um, with making you drive uh, slightly more efficiently. And vehicle status, we've got full tyre pressure monitoring, um, obviously only just started the car so it's not taken a reading yet, but after you've done about half a mile or so, um, you'll actually get the individual tyre pressures at the display up there. 
on the screen. Um, and then service requirements, here we go. Um, so um, we can see that the next item to be done is a an MOT in September, so we would actually get one of those done as part of the um, part of the sale. So the car will come with a 12 month MOT. Um, the engine oil service is not due until July 2023 or 10,000 miles time, so well over a year. Um, rear brake pads have 11,000 miles worth of wear left on them. Brake fluid change is also July 23. Uh, the vehicle check in July 25. And uh, front brake pads have obviously recently been changed, so we've got 60,000 miles worth of wear left on them as well. Um, so as I mentioned, with the new MOT, uh, all the tyres and everything are very, very good on this car, so you'd have nothing else to uh, to do anytime soon. Um, this will show us that the last uh, service was done in July 21 at 35,000 miles, so uh, 8,000 miles ago. Um, and if we go in, it'll actually tell us what was done at that service. So you can see it was a full BMW service that was carried out at that point. Uh, 2019 had an engine oil and filter change, and in 2018 was the pre-delivery pre check. So full service history, everything up to date and as it should be, uh, and nothing else for the new owners to do anytime soon. Um, I'm sure there's some other bits and pieces I should be showing you in here, but um, yeah, obviously you can connect everything Bluetooth wise and like that as well. Um, coming down. I'll just show you the parking system as well. So you've got front and rear parking sensors and you've actually got the display that will come up on here and show you which sensors are being used and when as well. So it's quite nice to have a visual display as well. Um, across to here, you've got all the hotkey buttons so you can um, set things up in your memory, whether that be, um, whether that be uh, memory for uh, people that are in your phone book, certain destinations, radio stations, anything like that. You can actually set these hotkeys up to be um, any sort of favorite button that you want. Um, and then we've got three stage heated seats for driver and passenger. As well as the heated seats, we've also got a heated steering wheel. Buttons hidden just down here, um, but very, very nice in the winter. And we've also got dual zone climate control as well for driver and passenger, so independent temperature settings there. Um, being the newer model, um, they've gone gone away with that silly cover that used to used to go over the cup holders, and that's now a slide away one with a um, with somewhere to sort of rest phones and things like that. Uh, you've got 12 volt socket in the front, as well as your dual cup holders moving down here traction control and then also the different driving modes that you've got and this will actually affect the um, the screen up on here as well so you can see as we move from sport uh, all the way down to eco pro it will change the, um, the sort of gauges that you get um, but you've got these different driving modes that just sort of change the whole um, feel how heavy the steering is um, and this sort of automatic setup and everything like that for the for the gearbox so um, loads of configurable stuff in there Moving down, front centre armrest here with additional storage tray and a USB connection there as well. But yeah, looking through the, the cabin, um, it's quite nice. A lot of these newer models now don't have the, the silly blue line that, that goes across on um, on the M Sport models. So you've got this wonderful gloss black finisher here against the, the silver. But it looks absolutely stunning. Got the Harman Kardon tweeters in the door. But yeah, condition wise, very, very nice in here. Um, really nothing to, to point out that I don't think you'd be happy with when you came to see the car. All your controls and everything like that here on the doorway as well. I hope you found the video useful. If we can help with any further information, if you require any finance figures or you have a part exchange to value, then please do let us know through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. We'd be more than happy to help. Ultimately, we'd love to get you down and show you the car in person, take you out for a test drive. Thanks very much again for watching and we'll see you next time.